I'm going to come back and talk about a lot of these things, but I feel like we should now kind of get people up to speed on what ketones are. Again, we, yeah, we can sure. sit here and talk about this and take this stuff for granted all day. You obviously threw around the term nutritional ketosis. You've also talked about supplemental ketosis, sometimes referred to as exogenous ketones. Let's start with nutritional ketosis and just give people um, some definitions of um, how you achieve it how much variability there can be in a diet to get there, what the thresholds are, and a little bit about what's happening physiologically. Yeah. Uh, before, I, before I begin, I want to direct people to your early blogs, which I assume are still up on <laughs> nutritional ketosis. I, I'm sure they are somewhere. Yeah. yeah. So nutritional ketosis, uh, the key to, well, let's take a little bit of a step back. Ketosis, uh, I like to start with fasting. So when you stop eating, right? You suppress the hormone insulin, you mobilize fatty acids for fuel. The brain's not a good, it can't use the long chain fatty acids that are stored in your adipose tissue. So through beta oxidation of fatty acids in the liver, uh, beta accelerated beta oxidation in the context of insulin suppression generates these molecules, beta hydroxybutyrate and acetoacetate. And then they spill into circulation and uh, they become largely responsible for preserving brain energy metabolism in the context of uh, energy deprivation or carbohydrate restriction. So, and the elevation of beta hydroxybutyrate or acetoacetate in the blood, in the urine, or the breath becomes a biomarker. So, uh, for ketosis. So, you can achieve ketosis through fasting, through diet, through supplements, or uh, alcoholic ketoacidosis, right? And then you have nutritional ketosis, which is eating carbohydrate restricted ketogenic diet that's primarily high in fat. So, but still, it remains that. Uh, the ketogenic diet is the most scientifically researched diet that has an objective biomarker that defines the physiological state of being in the diet, and that's uh, beta-hydroxybutyrate above 0.5 millimoles per liter. 